Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie and um, I'll be reading from Al-Anon material today uh, from One Day at a Time in Al-Anon and Courage to Change. Today is February 17th, so we will be um, getting going here because I have two books and um, welcome and I'm really grateful that you're here. I read every day and um, I read from different Al-Anon materials and other things as well, um, all working with recovery and self-help because Al-Anon is a group um, with one purpose and that is to help um, families of alcoholics. And um, if you have lived with an alcoholic in the past, like in um, as, as an adult, like right now, if you're the adult child of an alcoholic growing up in that type of family, or if um, you have a partner who's an alcoholic or, you know, any of that. So you are a qualifier. You can even be your own qualifier, say that you are an, um, you're an addict or an alcoholic as well. So it helps so that we can understand like why our thinking is distorted. Um, it has a lot of codependency, a lot of issues because we have squashed our feelings to the point where we're like, we don't know who we are. So um, this is helping to um, by reading every day and then there's 12 steps so it has like this nice program like where you can go over and then work that um, through going to meetings reading and then having a sponsor if you if you're able to do that um, there are meetings um, locally you can look up on the internet and you can also um, go to zoom meetings there's zoom meetings all over the place so i mean it's a disease of feelings. And now um, we're uncovering what those are and our emotions. And then now we're feeling them. We're able to like express them by reading, we get inspired. So I'll go ahead and get started. And I'm grateful that you're here with me and thank you. So it'll be page 48, February 17th. And I'll start with courage to change. So my vision can be so limited. I often think that the only possible outcomes are those that I can imagine. Fortunately, my higher power is not restricted by such logic. In fact, some of the most wondrous events grow out of what appears uh, to be disasters, but faith takes practice. Fear can loom large and I can get lost in my limited thinking. I can't see any way out and doubt that even my even a higher power can help me. Um, that's when I most need to pray. When I do, my actions demonstrate my willingness to be helped. And time after time, the help I need is given to me. Today, I know that even when my situation looks bleak and I can't see any way out, Miracles can happen if I turn my will and my life over to the God of my understanding. In today's reminder, I have an important part to play in my relationship with my higher power. I have to be willing to receive the help and I have to ask for it. If I develop the habit of turning my, to my higher power for help with small everyday matters, I know that what uh, I know what to do uh, when faced with more difficult challenges. I'll read that again. If I develop a habit of turning to my higher power for help with small everyday matters, I know what to do when faced with more difficult challenges. Right on. So there's a Persian poem that there's a quote from, and I'll go ahead and read that. And so that is, um, in the hour of adversity, be not without hope for crystal rain falls from black clouds. So nice, right? Vision is limited if you limit it to your own thinking, praying and giving your, your power over to God, um, working with God, like, you give the power to God, he, the God of your understanding gives you the will and you work together like, okay, bud, we're doing this together. That's my share. That's how I do it. And I humbly ask every day on my knees. So I, it's like the action, 
like pray, like be there with me today. I'm gonna do this together. And then I find like the more I do that, like like when I was working on with the prayers and I, I do it every day still, every day in the morning and at night. And I laugh to myself sometimes. I'm like, I'm feeling grateful. Like I'm really happy. Like my attitude shifts. It's not every day. I wish it was, but um, you know, I have been able to notice that it's there. So it's lovely. It's lovely. It's, it's showing me that it's working. It works if you work it, truly. So I'll go ahead and um, uh, one day at a time in Al-Anon. So this is for February 17th, page 48. Um, okay, this one looks a little more serious. So let's read this. When violent quarrels take place in the home, both partners fail to realize that their intense involvement with each other can destroy what should be sacred relationship. With those who are closest to us, we are most apt to forget the consideration we owe one another. We learn in Al-Anon that we can set a new tone in the home by such a simple thing as courtesy, consistent, gentle courtesy to every member of the family, including the littlest one. Today's reminder, a quiet composed response to an enraged attack can take the wind out of the sails of the attacker like so much magic. Let me read that again. A quiet composed response to an enraged attack can take the wind out of the sails uh, of the attacker, like so much magic. What, what, I, what can I possibly lose by trying it? If you're living with that. At least it will add to my own, my own dignity and stature to say nothing I will later regret. And there's a, there's a quote from Hilaire Balak from Courtesy, quote, of courtesy. It is much less than courage of heart or loneliness. Yet in my walks, it seems to me that the grace of God is in courtesy. Oh, right. So a um, reminder of um, some of the scenes that I saw growing up in an alcoholic home where the, where the quarrels and the rage and then I brought it through into some of my, um, my personal relationships, the anger. What's coming to my mind is that um, there's a slogan and it, I just read it from, from um, Hope for Today as well. There's another video for the same date, Hope for Today said. There's um, a slogan, how important is it? Right? and. And then also when this talks about um, the courtesy and being gentle and how things can be destroyed by like the triggers of that rage. And, um, but also if there's, if you're having um, physical abuse, then there's, there's other things you need to do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a therapist or these are only my own opinions. I'm not, I'm not able to tell you what to do or how to do it, but um, there is help for that. So um, keep safe out of danger. Um, when the times are, there's this too shall pass is another quote um, where there's the, the pain part and then there's the good stuff too. Like when you're having a good day, this too shall pass as well. No matter if you're having violence or not in the house, like it's um, this too shall pass for all of things that happen in your world. So um, one of the suggestions also in the, the other reading, the hope for today on my other video for February 17th is um, praying and um, praying every day so that you're used to doing that and 
to get you in practice for the times you really need it as well. So it's not like a desperation. You're, you're, you're doing this practice every day of prayer and spirituality, um, like this path that you're walking, you're trudging along the road to happy destiny instead of allowing fate to just pull you and pull you and toss you and turn you. So um, destiny is um, work and progress. And sometimes we don't have a good day and it's okay not to be okay. Um, so um, um, by working the program for sure, uh, your situation is bound to improve in one way or the other. So anyway, thank you for coming. How are you today? Let's take all that in. And we'll end with the serenity prayer. You take a nice deep breath in and out and join me. Here we go. Deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. Courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference. God's will be done. Amen. Just a reminder, there are other videos on this channel so far. Uh, there are prayers and meditations. There's, uh, I'm learning along with you, um, A Course in Miracles. So that's another, um, to change the perception so that we can have a different outlook. And, um, and also, uh, uh, yeah, I would just encourage you to watch some of the other videos and, um, and trudge along with me. So I'm grateful. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so 